This review is of Actual Veggies, the actual purple burger, thick cut large burgers. And uh, they're vegan, sorry, veggie only, no gluten, no soy, no preservatives, non-GMO, um, just veggies, no fillers, no oil, actual health. Well, that's debatable since it is a processed food, but um, it has nothing but veggies in here and, and spices and a lemon and some lemon. Okay, so um, let's see here. It's also vegan, kosher, so it's safe for Jews and Muslims, nut free. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you saw that part, and now you can see this part. Yay! And there are the nutrition facts and ingredients. Now, the um, burger, I'll show you, they look like this. Really? <laughs> funny looking. Um, one burger has 180 uh, calories in it and it has one gram of fat, no cholesterol, 320 milligrams of sodium, 36 grams of carbs of which 10 are dietary fibers, so that's pretty good, four grams of sugars that are not added and seven grams of protein. It also has, uh, let's see, calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin A, thiamine, vitamin B6, and magnesium in it. All right, well, hold on while I heat it up. And we'll enjoy it, or what? at least I'll enjoy it, I hope. Okay, I just finished cooking it. Oh, my stove sucks. It took me so long. It should have been like 10 minutes, and it took me almost an hour because my stove sucks. I can taste the beets. Honestly, I can't taste. I, I I can't taste the beets very strongly. So it's a pretty mild flavor, and honestly, the patty doesn't have much flavor at all. It's very very mild. Yeah, it's almost like somebody made a a patty um, with thickened mashed potatoes. Um, almost like a potato pancake, except for the beef flavor, obviously. So, um, you know, it's uh, a good base for you to be creative with the flavors and the vegetables you mix with it. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I've got some salsa that I made, and I'm going to use the salsa with this so it's nice and tasty. And that's about it for me. Flavor-wise, it's pretty neutral, which is, you know, again, great for you to be creative with your flavoring. But if you're looking for something that's already pre-flavored, um, not your, not it's not the right choice. So I'll give it a six and a half. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day.